Good day. Here's my brand new 2023 Husqvarna FE350S that I have, yes, taken apart. Uh, it's not because it's brand new that it gets, well, you can't go for a ride out of the box, but uh, for the type of riding and abuse I have uh, the habit of getting into, uh, I'd like to go over it, get to know the bike, and optimize a few things and add a few things to it to make it uh, for what I like. I gotta add the mount for the GPS and things like that. Uh, this is uh, the 350 street version. So there's the FE 350, which is a race bike, uh, not street legal in North America. And then the 350S is exactly pretty much the same bike, uh, street legal. It uh, has a anti-smog thing. It's detuned for emissions and yada yada. But uh, most Ali, it has all the North American DOT garbage on it that they have to put on these generic DOT flashers with this DOT add-on tail. Uh, these controls, which are exactly the same with a whole bunch of other German and Austrian bikes and Japanese bikes. The same thing is on the Yamaha WR250, 450, whatever. It's all generic stuff added on. Uh, the electrical, uh, people say on KTMs, is not great or shit. It's, okay, it could be better, but it's not all that bad. I've seen a couple Japanese bikes, and I think people just get blinded by the fact that it's Japanese and say it's great, but it's just fucking, it's all the same. But uh, one department that uh, others get a lot better is all this behind the headlight mask. You know, headlight mask right here. Same generic junk DOT flashers. If it's good, if you stay on the street and do nothing but the street. Yeah, there's a lot of clutter here. Why? Because of said DOT crappy add-on generic stuff, you get these harnesses that are super long. These super long. That's all bunched up in here. Patch cable so the bike can have flashers because the real version of this bike doesn't have any flashers. These here are the same as on my 690, which is a 2012 which is 11 years older, this thing, you can get them on any other, you know, it's, it's generic stuff. It's just add-ons, never intended to be on these bikes originally in the European design. They have a kill button, start button, that's it, end of story. They use hand signals for uh, left and right turns. We can't do that here. So, what we're going to do is get all of these super long generic harness connectors and I'm going to shorten them. This connector goes here. It's at least eight inches too long. I'm going to snip that. I have all the kind of the pins, so I'm going to recrimp pins on there. Same thing here, this one here. This is just for the flashers, uh, high beam, low beam, all that stuff. This goes up here. Another Eight to ten inches too long. Gonna snip that, put new pins, and shorten the connector. No reason for all that bulk. This here is another patch cable so the bike has the front flashers and a relay. It's just patched in here. Uh, that I don't want to do yet. There's not much to do, but this could have been shorter also. Any road. That's the plan. This is the headlight connector. That's okay. Oh yeah, and we have an ignition key on this bike. Normally these bikes don't have ignition keys, but Norte Merca have to have ignition key. I might put a dongle and get rid of it entirely. So that goes there. Voila, first project for the brand new FE350S. Declutter the generic DOT flashers and electrical crap.